we are working on our seated twist today. And I just wanna give you some information about how to really work on your seated twist and what alternatives or modifications might be helpful to you. So often when we're in a seated twist, we are all twisted up and we're twisting tall here. Now, this big crisscrossy position is only useful if you can get both sits bones down on the ground. If you're sitting way up here, it's not gonna work. It's not even comfortable, so don't bother doing it that way. So here's some other options. I like to start out people in staff, sitting up really tall, trying to reach the sits bones down, neutral pelvis, which is vertical. From there, you can bring one knee in and hug it in as far as you can. From there, you can actually just twist from this position, sitting up tall, really having one hand or elbow to twist, right hand is down behind you, or if you're sitting on a couch, <laughs> Can be on the couch. Now, if this is comfortable, you could switch this foot over as long as your hips are still square and your sits bones are down. From there, right hand down, hand or elbow helps you twist. The only time you should tuck this under is if both sits bones can touch. Now, a lot of transitions, let's say standing split, that's one of my favorite, so standing split, I'm gonna come out of frame, but that's okay. Down through here, comes through that. But that's an advanced transition, and you should make sure that you feel comfortable within advanced transitions, and the pose you're coming from, but also going to, is also at a similar advancement. Otherwise, you might wanna make adjustments. I love to talk about transition alternatives some other time. But as far as modifications go, we talk a lot about pose modifications and I'm interested to talk more about transition modifications. Anyways, so in our seated twist, let's say we're in a full twist, sitting up really tall, this right hand is like a brace. Now I'm gonna use the strength of my obliques to turn and then this arm is just a little bit more. You shouldn't be twisting with this arm. It's not necessarily dangerous, I just don't feel good, yeah? So really standing and sitting tall. If I had an extended leg, all the same rules apply. And if I was not twisted at all, or not crossed over, same rules apply. When you bring your foot to the same side, you might find that you lean back slightly. As a teacher, I'm okay with participants doing this as long as your back is flat. We don't wanna see is a rounded and a twist. Only one plane of movement at a time, which keeps our spine really safe. So for example, curving and twisting, not such a good idea. But as long as you are straight, you can twist, no matter the angle of your hips. So I hope that helped your spinal twist and maybe gave you some alternative things to think about.